So if we remember, the principle of testimony is important because most of what we know about the world comes from the testimony of others. Most of us are not experts in physics and all of the different sciences, right? And so even though we have, you know, some level of understanding of like Einstein's relativity, I know it's E equals MC squared and, right, I know certain, uh, you, you know, Pythagorean theorems and things like this, like, obviously, I don't know how to prove those in the way that like a mathematician would, <laughs> right? Uh, or something like this. So there's a level of understanding that I'm counting on from the experts, right? In order to justify my belief. But let's say it turns out that some mathematician down the line comes out and says, oh man, you guys, we way got it wrong. Pythagorean theorem is false, right? <laughs> they came, they found some counter instance, right? Then maybe we change our beliefs, right? We change our scientific theories. We talked about all this before. So again, most of what we think we know about the world comes from the testimony of others. So one thing that Hume is going to focus on is how we weigh that testimony of others against, again, our experience. So when we're just judging our own experience, we're weighing the present against the past. When it comes to the testimony of others, we're weighing all of our experience against the testimony of others.